Now, back to the Middle East, and one of the aims of the recent attack from Israel seems to have been to strike close to an Iranian nuclear site, but crucially, not hit it directly. Deborah Haynes explains why the city of Isfahan has become the current focus of the ongoing tension in the Middle East. A muted response by Israel and Iran to this apparent Israeli attack seems to indicate that neither side is seeking an escalation to all-out war for now. While the region is still on a knife edge, the crisis could have been much worse. This map gives a sense of the Iranian military bases and nuclear sites Israel may have considered hitting in retaliation to Iran's unprecedented missile and drone attack last weekend. Yet the response looks to have been limited, focused on the city of Isfahan, a centre of Iranian missile production, research and development. Local media reported explosions caused by Iranian air defences shooting down drones. At least some of the activity appears to have happened at an Air Force base in the city. This picture shows the entrance office windows in the area were reportedly shattered. Satellite imagery from a few years ago gives a sense of why this place might be of interest, with aircraft hangars as well as jets on the tarmac. Also in the area is a facility that's part of Iran's nuclear program. This still from a video shows multiple air defence positions nearby. A local news reporter describes the site as nuclear energy mountain and the place is well guarded. Any attack by Israel would have been a way to test Iranian air defences and to send a message. I think Israel sending a very clear message to Iran that it can target very precisely deep inside Iran. And it's also sending a message at the same time that it is not keen to escalate. It's basically re responding very precisely. While recent fears have been about all-out conflict, Israel and Iran have long been locked in a shadow war of deniable attacks and counterattacks. An Israeli drone was suspected of a strike back in January last year, also in the central city of Isfahan. Western and regional leaders have spent the past few days urging restraint on both sides. And while a direct war could yet happen, there will surely be renewed hope that further confrontation between Iran and Israel will return to the shadows. Well, there's little doubt the world has been collectively holding its breath over the past week to see how Israel would respond to Iran. Well, it happened yesterday. What does it all mean? We've seen what Deborah and her report has to say. Let's go to a local expert to break it all down, former Howard Government Minister and now with Bondo Partners Senior Advisor Peter McGoran. Peter, what do you think? Um, I thought Deborah Haynes summed it up perfectly, Tim. There's not a lot I could add other than to reinforce her conclusion that Israel has shown a great deal of restraint but achieved its purpose. It sent a strong signal to Iran that, firstly, we will send a missile onto your land. And they haven't done that before. It's all been targeted assassinations, cyber security disruptions, explosions. Secondly, we have the capability. Thirdly, we, we will target your nuclear facilities, although by, by way of missile, they will be very hard to destroy because they're deep underground, but aerial strikes will, will do it. So the whole Israel, Israeli strategy has been deterrence. Now, remember, it's proportionate. Mm. A week ago, Iran sent 300 drones and missiles, all of which were shot down or failed. There were no casualties. Some soldiers were wounded. So this was a proportionate response, but sent all those signals to Iran. If you like, Israel has crossed a red line, which is to bomb Iran directly, and Iran now knows it. The one positive, if we can look at some positives on this, is the word proportionate. Yeah. And, and, and we're talking about de-escalation. When this story hit yesterday afternoon, uh, I think a lot of people think, oh, boy, what's gone on? Agree, we're all holding our breath because Israel for more mm. than a decade has had uh, its finger on the trigger mm. of attacking the nuclear facilities. It wanted the Obama regime to do it. It wanted the Trump regime to do it. And, and they won't because of the potential escalation. But Israel wants to do it and Israel believes it has nothing to lose. So for them to resist this open invitation to attack their Iran's um, nuclear facility shows great restraint and 
and strategic thinking on their part. Enormous amount of diplomatic work being done from countries Correct. in the area and the United States. Correct, well. because remember, the United yeah. Kingdom, France, mm. Jordan and the United States helped destroy those 300 missiles and Iranian drones. Otherwise, some of them would have got through. So a few days later, mm. to then spit in their eye, if you like, uh, was even a step too far for Benjamin Netanyahu.